Okay guys, here it is. Lush's little submarine bath bomb. It's the cutest little thing in the world and everybody's telling me that it's supposed to smell like coconut. Um, it's a very faint coconut smell. You can smell all the other notes much stronger, but it is kind of tropical-y, if maybe we'll say it that way. We get one last snifferoo and then we are going to put our submarine in the water. Oh, I do like the way it smells and I'm not a big fan of coconut. But I love coconut mixed with other things. I think that's the way you gotta do coconut. You gotta mix it. Coconut lime verbena, coconut and sweetness. I thought this was like a fast fizzer. Apparently this is foaming. And he's not moving. Um, <laughs> the point of Yellow Submarine is that he was supposed to... Oh, he flipped over. You monkey's butt. Okay, he flipped back. He was supposed to, um, like, the pink part was supposed to be, like, a strong fizz, and then, I guess, the yellow part was supposed to just move around the tub. Uh, but he's not going nowhere, as you can see. <laughs> he's not moving. I gotta say, Lush Bath Bombs have not wowed me lately. The scent, the feel, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Will always always be my favorite company. I will always be a Lush collector. But as for the shock and awe value, mm, not really there so much. I do think this is adorable. I think it's a, such a cute idea. I love the, the whole background story behind the little yellow submarine. But, I don't know. You tell me what you guys think. You think it's worth the money? I like what it's doing. I love the smell it's bringing out. I do love that Lush uses a lot of essential oils. Um, you know, they do their own infusions, things like that. I do really like that. And I love the way you feel after a Lush bath. But I have got to say, I am most likely going to use some of my pink custard shower jelly and bubble this bad boy up a little bit because it's kind of boring looking. And it looks funny. See the way it's breaking away? See all the, the stuff? It kind of looks a little funny. All around, though, I gotta say, I, I will forever love Lush. Just in the way I feel when I get out of a Lush bath. I love the way my skin feels. I love the way the scent lingers on your skin. You know, I just, I like kicking back and relaxing in a Lush product. I love the scent of my happy, happy joy, joy conditioner, even though it's overly expensive. It does absolutely nothing for my hair. You know, it's stupid little things like that is what makes Lush so addicting. And you know it just as much as anyone else. If you're a Lushy, which that is what everybody calls us, if you have purchased Lush and fell in love, you're addicted. If you've discovered the Lush kitchen, oh, your past addiction. You need, like, Lush AA, because you're right there with the rest of us. We're all going to be homeless and poor, but we're going to be smelling amazing. I am so excited for Brightside. I just want to grab a lotion and a solid perfume and get the hell off the site and let everybody else rip it to shreds. Yeah, I gotta say the wow factor in this is definitely a... It's a good, you know, scent... I don't, I'm not in it yet, so I don't know what it feels like. But I gotta say, for actual bath bomb going off, what is all this sh like around it? I've never seen a lush bath bomb break away with all this this stuff. I've never seen like all this. Is are my hands dyed? That's this is from candles. It's not from I was making candles before. It's a uh, but damn, my gloves must be like cheap as shit, man. I went with gloves that Richie got at Target, and they're just like those normal little plasticky ones, not really like the good ones that I get from like Rust Essentials or <clears throat> when I go on uh, any of the uh, you know the sites for like the black tattoo tattoo gloves. I love those; they're the strongest ones. But unfortunately, I went with these cheap ones just because I ran out, and I'm waiting for a shipment. Yeah, they don't work that well. The dye just seeps right through. What is this stuff? I guess it's just the way it's breaking uh, down. It's just weird looking. 
Okay, so you guys are seeing kind of a yellow, but it is orange. Um, it looks like there's a tiny speckle of shimmer. Nothing spectacular, nothing to write home about. This is a very boring bath bomb. And I think it was supposed to be like really, really exciting, really cute. And the whole concept of it was that the pink would the bath bomb across the bottom. Ooh. Ooh, I do not like this one at all. Oh, I just dropped my damn razor. Whoops. I don't like the feel on this. I'm not liking the look. I, I'm not. I'm not liking this. I don't know why, but it feels funny. Like I don't feel any moisture whatsoever, but I feel this heavy, kind of almost waxy feel. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to be the judge of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a crush my lush. I <clears throat> sort of get rid of this guy and let him let him do his thing. Now he's pretty. Now he's doing something. But I gotta say, yellow submarine for me. I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna enjoy it. See how it's all working out. Yeah, some of the coloring is up there, but Alright, it's coming off. Right there, too. When I did Golden Slumber, oh, man, that was a pain in the ass to get off the walls. So, it does look kind of yellowish, but it's more orange in life than it is on the camera screen. It, it has, like, a weird feel to the water. Um, it's not nice, I gotta say. It doesn't feel that great. I'm gonna have to toss a bath mountain here or something, or shit, I'm, you know something, I, I am gonna get in, I am gonna see what it's like, I was gonna say shit, I'm just gonna drain it down and use one of my indie companies, I got a Madden Mac, uh, bath bomb that I've been dying to use, <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it a shot, if you have earbuds in your ears, take them out right now, or lower your volume, and turn the water on real quick, I wanna see if it gives me any kind of bubble, because that yellow portion of it was very foaming, so I'm thinking maybe there was some heavy, you know, SLS or SLSA, whatever the hell it is that makes the whole stuff. Nope. Nada. Alright, so not my favorite. I'm definitely going to whip out the pink custard and uh, start loading some of that up there. So, I'm going to need you, buddy. You're going to have to save my, my bath here. So in a little bit, after I initially first try out this and see how it works, I will wind up putting some of the pink custard, you know, just putting it in the strainer, running around like the water, making a little bit of bubbles. Because I'm not keen on the little yellow submarine bath bomb. This is not one of my favorites. I will not be purchasing this again. Maybe it's a crappy batch. I don't know, but I'm not going to buy a little yellow submarine ever again. I don't really like this one at all. It's so adorable, so I may get another one just to collect it. Oh, I still don't want to collect the bath bombs just because they don't really last all that long. And, you know, sometimes they really it's really sad to see them dead. <laughs> Especially when if you got to move them around or move your collection around. It, it's sad to see them when they go. Yeah, the moisture contest is lacking 100%, but it has this funny kind of... Almost like a, a waxy, thick, sticky feel. So it's not like a silky moisture. It's like a heavy kind of funny feel to it. I don't know. Uh, and the scent is gone. There, I smell nothing. I don't even smell anything on my hand while it's still wet. The scent is completely gone. So for me, this was a definite no-no. I do not like a little yellow submarine. I am going to jump in and give it a shot. See how it all works out when I'm sitting in it. But I don't smell it any longer, um, it doesn't feel that great, it's just not one of my faves. Let me know down below if you've had a chance to purchase this and give it a whirl. What you think of it, what you thought of the video with this. Um, and if you like demonstrations and you like do, seeing what I do here, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Um, yeah, that's about it. And uh, if you enjoy hanging out with me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are already a subscriber. Give it a double check and just make sure that you are still subscribed. YouTube is having another glitch where they're unsubscribing people. And flick on your notification little bell over there. Punch the bell. And go ahead and, yeah, have a great night.
But definitely in the comments down below, uh, let me know what's your take on little little yellow submarine bath bomb by Lush. Um, I'm not happy with it. I don't think I purchased another one for using purposes. I may, you know, somebody wouldn't even collect this one. Nah, it's not. It's not worth it. It's really not. Um, and always, if you have the means to purchase from UK. <laughs> Um, I like purchasing from the UK because I actually save a lot of money that way. Purchasing from the US site, ugh, it's rather expensive. But some some things in the UK we don't have in the US sites, and then some things in the US sites we don't have on the UK sites, so you kind of have to pick your battles there. But I definitely prefer to order from the UK. I've saved so much. I have spent well over $9,000 my first year as a Lushie. And collecting this stuff and everything, well over nine grand doing this shit. And now I am looking to save on all of my Lush products, so that is why I purposely use the UK site. Even though you may only save a dollar or fifty cents here, it does all add up in the end. Keep all of your Lush invoices, and at the end of the year, add them up, and you will see how much money you save from using, you know, the UK site. Than the, U, than the U.S. site. You'll notice it. But uh, that's a good thing to do. You know, from like this moment on, save all of your invoices, and this time next year, just add them up and see how much money you've spent. You would not believe how much money you actually spend when the Lush Addiction gets you. And it gets all of us. But I still love it. I still love my Lush. <sighs> oh, Okay. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to try it out for a little while, and let's see what happens. But I'm telling you right now, this is not my fave. Alright guys, have a good night, good morning, whatever it is for you. For me, it is going to be my night. I just finished working, and I am going to relax for a little while. So this will actually be bath number four for me today, and shower number three. So, <laughs> I, I don't, you know, this is like, wow, I spend a lot of time in water. I really, really, really enjoy my products. <laughs> You know, and I did say I wanted to take, like, a back seat to YouTube a little bit and slow down a little bit because I felt like I was getting burnt out. Turns out I'm still uploading every goddamn day. Ugh. Oh, excuse my language. But I'm still uploading every day. I, I don't know. It just it just happens. I, I don't know. I miss you guys. If I don't upload, I feel like, oh, no. <laughs> I didn't talk to them today. So I shall talk to you guys, I guess, tomorrow. So have a good day. Bye, guys.